Hello all to all our higher extra Facebook followers. Thank you for joining us live today. Okay. I think we will be wow. having uh, some viewers joining us one by one. Uh, this is the first of many live sessions, and we hope to do many such sessions in the future for our dear followers. And uh, today we have um, Higher Extra and um, other team members, uh, respectable team members with us on the, as our panel guests on this live session. And let me introduce you to them one by one. So we have here Mr. Kumar. He is the co-founder and the mastermind behind Higher Extra. Hello, sir. Yeah, hi, Higher Extra is the world's first global staffing aggregator. So uh, the other guest on our panel is Mr. Rajashekar. Mr. Rajashekar is the Senior Business Development Manager at Ananta Cybertech Limited. And hi, hi. Anand hello, hello, Rajashekar. And yeah, Ananta is one of our esteemed employers, basically. And the other guest uh, on our panel is Mr. Pranay. Um, he is the Account Director at TGC Limited. TGC Limited is one of our agency recruiter, and they are doing an excellent work at Fire Extra. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Pranay. Uh, the other team members, uh, we have Monica, who is the uh, team member from our digital marketing team at Fire Extra. And she's the one who's going to handle our studio today for the live session. Um, my name is Aditi. Uh, hello, everyone. Hi. I, I Hi. am. I am a global delivery manager at Hire Extra. All right. Excellent. So now, now that we have introduced all our panel members, uh, let's start our today's session for Lockdown 2.0, Staffing Solutions with Hire Extra. And we ad we'll address all the comments and um, uh, any questions from our viewers at the end of the session for mm -hmm. sure. Um, so let me get on to you know asking some questions to our panel members. Uh, so my first first question goes to Mr. Kumar. Uh, Mr. Kumar, Higher Extra is the world's first first staffing aggregator. There is no other staffing aggregator in the market. This aggregator is your baby, and how do you feel about it? And can you please tell our viewers? What is the staffing aggregator all about? And so that people understand what Hire Extra is all about, actually. Uh, yeah, it's not uh, only my baby. <laughs> it's uh, many, uh, many corporate companies who are uh, backed up with this idea. Uh, they are all uh, the part of uh, uh, Hire Extra uh, being a staffing aggregator. Um, uh, we have a very advantages from uh, the global companies. Uh, uh, previous, uh, uh, you know, the ex Google, ex Facebook, um, you know, there there are uh, ex Amazon. So many of those people are already being a part of uh, the group, uh, uh, you know, higher extra group. Uh, so yeah, uh, being uh, whenever uh, we are talking about the disruptive technologies, is always. Uh, it is great to say that it is a very disruptive technology, but there is a lot of responsibility to uh, to introducing the new concept, the disruptive concept. There is a risk associated uh, with, uh, uh, with the disruptive technologies. Um, yeah, uh, coming to this. Okay, so everybody, every company, we got a total, uh, you know, 0.6 million companies in the globally. So these 12.6 million companies, they always there will be recruitment happens. Uh, most of uh, uh, most of the people uh, may be assuming right now that there is a no, there is completely the hiring freeze. Okay, so one sector may be the hiring freeze, uh, one sector may be reducing the hiring, but there will be a lot of uh, hiring is happening right now, and it is. It is, it is more, okay, many companies are doing, even our company also, our group companies are doing uh, better than previously in this particular panic situation because uh, a lot of companies are looking for uh, uh, best people, okay? They may be replacing the old right. people with new people. Uh, some activities going on. So uh, as you rightly said, uh, the staffing aggregator. The staffing aggregator is a, aggregator concept is not a new concept. It is all existing concept. 
uh, so we can see in uh, you know um, airbnb uber uh, lift uh, you know yes. uh, in, uh, in multiple companies like jomato uh, uber eats so we can see this aggregator concept is existing in all the all the places okay so what we do is we want to apply this process to staffing companies why can't we apply this to staffing companies so yes. staffing companies uh, you know what used to be happened is okay so there is no uh, defined uh, there are certain crowdsourcing companies who are uh, taking the responsibility so they are distributing uh, the vendor uh, the employer jobs to the agency recruiters but however there is no guarantee or there is no um, perfection that they will be supplying the quality resources to them so there are two things we are mainly concerned the recruitment speed and the quality so this recruitment speed and quality are the major uh, factors uh, affecting it and also when we use the technologies uh, so uh, we we were worried okay we we were uh, as a consulting company uh, last 30 years we are running a, a much a lot of consulting it consulting yeah. companies we always uh, used to see the demand and supply okay sometimes yes. you know we are looking for the best people and you know the best people you know the projects will be executed and we will be you know monetization of the projects are happened by the uh, having a quality people in our offices okay so okay. but uh, yeah so uh, as you said uh, okay so i mean uh, it is quite important uh, for us having a model okay so where in uh, employers will be uh, the first in the requirements using our platform and yeah. then uh, our aggregator is uh, uh, we do ai vendor uh, distribution and then so we have all vendor kpis are measured and we will be measuring them we got a preferred vendor ships and uh, uh, cost plus vendor ships so we are basically distributing the jobs okay so the multiple yeah. yes okay so that ensures that ensures that okay so uh, and coupling with uh, the artificial intelligence okay so basically we are uh, ai uh, plus machine learning plus human intelligence so we are not we are not underestimating the human intelligence part in this uh, place but we are coupling with uh, artificial intelligence and uh, human intelligence so the staffing aggregator is completely a you know it's a out of box uh, approach and it is a very unique on uh, thanks for listening thank you thank you, thank you kumar thanks thanks uh, for addressing and explaining us all about the staffing aggregator concept i'm sure a lot of people had this question in their mind um yeah, because this is uh, like you said it is an existing concept but in the hr technology industry it's it's a very new concept uh so mr kumar my next question to you is um hirextra is all about artificial intelligence and machine learning like you said so can you give our viewers a bit of an insight into these tools that will make their hiring more efficient for the employers yeah uh, thank you for asking this question okay we uh, invested a uh, uh, lot of our intellectual time and uh, we invested a lot of uh, our time in intellectual property uh, we are working on uh, these things from last uh, 2016 onwards uh, then we are basically uh, got around working towards to 30 patents on ai particularly staffing and a few patents got approved already and going to the next step uh, wipo and uh, the various things so what we try to do is we try it so our from the beginning of inception of this mm -hmm. platform we have one thing in the mind how do we reduce the time for the employer and how do we improve the quality uh, of yeah. the submission so these are two things we are very much concerned about it okay so of course cost and pricing uh, is also exceptionally we are very different we are very cost effective but however so keeping those things as a business um, uh, business side business advertisement or business uh, yeah. effective things but we are working more on technology so we are part of hr tech company so i believe hr tech 4.0 is nothing but you know it's combining all the technologies in one place okay we may be uh, we may be looking uh, uh, you know every aspect of employer for example assume that the employer got thousands of uh, already existing profiles how yeah. they will find the best resource out of their existing 
things. If, uh, in the same thing, if agency recruiters have their own CRM and if they want to uh, submit a new profile to a new job and they want to um, you know, manage the existing their database and how they will be going into next level, how quick they can be able to see how quick they can match the job to the existing CRM. That's one of yes. And on the top of it, if we got um, uh, a job is posted in our uh, uh, platform and there are multiple vendors are applying it. Okay, multiple vendors are responding to that. Okay, they are each one submitting three, three CVs or four, four CVs. How do we do matchometer? So we developed our own patents on job matchometer. The job matchometer will do not only keyword based, it will do the location. Uh, you know, they is do more, they got a six levels of uh, matching. And then we are the probably the first company because I've not seen uh, those technologies are existing in anywhere in any other API exactly. system or any other uh, human resource system or any other recruitment uh, softwares. Okay, so right. uh, and we got a talent mining. Okay, so we go uh, to the 16 levels of talent. So right. and also we will guarantee that whether this uh, uh, gentleman, uh, this person, whoever uh, the applicant is, whether they will uh, the work life balance, the company. So the talent mining is uh, our uh, unique patent. Uh, patent, and we are yeah. uh, working on. We try to show 16 types of talent mining uh, capabilities uh, assigning to the applicant, and also then we got a employee spectrum. So then uh, the employee spectrum is six types. Uh, so we show the uh, whether is the person is intellectual or whether is a intelligent or whether it is a uh, S man whether he is a, you know so all the capabilities we try to show these capabilities in one shot and right. moreover on the top of it okay we have a candidate compass experience walkthrough so we take CV as a basic and uh, but we will extract uh, uh, you know more than 248 uh, items in a CV. Uh, using our AI and physiologic. Uh, right. So then moreover on the top of it, okay, so uh, the AI is uh, used uh, continuously in every place in sourcing uh, candidate uh, things. Yes, uh, and our, uh, our chatbot is yeah. one other application. Our chatbot is one uh, very uh, different application. The chatbot uh, is, uh, you know, uh, Hire Paul uh, allows us uh, to talk to the candidate. Okay, so we can uh, talk to the hundreds of the candidates, you know, instantly. So all these are AI uh, level technologies. But apart from the AI, we use human intelligence as well. So so we do five levels of filters. After the five levels of filter, finally uh, the profile will reach to the employer. Wonderful. That's 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 a very extensive, uh, you, you know, uh, mining process and very extensive, um, you know, uh, CV validation process. Um, I think it's 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 a very um, remarkable and uh, very detailed uh, candidate yeah. analysis that Tirexta platform is doing. Um, yeah. uh, thank you, Kumar. Uh, thank you for answering my questions. Um, and I think I will move on to the next question now, uh, which yeah. is uh, for Rajeshekar. Rajeshekar, uh, we all are in this global pandemic situation. And I think all our viewers will agree with me. Um, uh, you are a part of this IT service industry for almost seven years now. How do you think this pandemic has affected uh, uh, you as an organization uh, or affected ACT as an organization, uh, especially in terms of hiring and staffing, Rajeshekar? Yeah. Thank you, Aditi. Good evening. And a good evening, one and all. Yeah. Thanks for asking the excellent question. Whole world is affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Most of the businesses are affected. The consequences of COVID impact are lack of requirements, jobs from clients, Sorry. project termination and yeah. layoff, decline in employee productivity, cash flow and finance issues. And one more important is remote working is the new way. In some organization, it is not adaptable. Yeah. One, more, one more is like important factors also impacted by COVID-19 from right. technology's perspective, working okay. remotely, client engagement, yes. candidate engagement, employer engagement. Definitely, 
recovering of the business after covid 19 is not going to be as usual and there is a new normal already yeah. I would uh, I would agree with you, Rajeshekar. I think I cannot agree more with you. Uh, I, I'm sure our viewers will agree with as well because a lot of businesses and uh, globally are affected due to this pandemic situation. Yes, yes and yes, yes. Uh, we all are going through this crisis. I hope uh, we come up with this crisis, but um, we are glad uh, that at least um, higher extra. You know, you are associated with Higher Extra for some time now, and we are glad to be associated with you and to help you in your needs, basically. Thank All right, my you. next question to you, Rajeshekar, is, uh, you know, uh, I would like to ask you in terms of specifically Higher Extra, you know, how has Higher Extra changed the situation for you? And, you know, how has it helped you in your staffing needs in particular? You know, can you give us, uh, give our viewers some insights on this point of view? Yeah, yeah. Once again, thank you, Aati. Okay, it was a nice question. Mainly, Hyrista changed the situation for Ananta Cybertech. And you have been using Hyrista portal for our staffing and hiring needs. Okay. Yeah. I don't need to engage with many recruitment agencies. All right. My hiring manager directly take interviews. That saves a lot of time. Wonderful. We started receiving quality profiles from generic Nishi super Nishi requirements without me putting any effect to access them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could spend more time with my clients, forget business. Coming <laughs> to that's important, a, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yes. That's very to, important. Yeah, coming to, I'm really uh, very, very happy. Yeah. That point is the AI reports. Yeah. Their candid AI reports are so amazing. Mm -hmm. I detail that I feel I already know the candidate before scheduled meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's 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 a very interesting point. I think, Kumar, uh, this is a very interesting point. I, as in, um, it's very good to know that our employers uh, feel that they are, even before they meet the candidate, they actually have a full scan uh, version of their of the candidate in graphical representation of our predictive analysis and you know all the big yeah. five personalities i'm sure rajashekar you're talking about those things yeah yeah, uh, yeah. I, guess uh, I think uh, my next report uh, my next pdf report uh, of the candidate is going to be around uh, 35 to 40 pages probably yes. ah, okay. <laughs> yeah <laughs> people may be yeah. saying it's too detailed okay or you know we got a small version we got a three pages version uh, of analysis and also we got a 44 pages of a detail uh, thing so we are uh, giving choice to the employers that with the big yeah. updates and that you know yeah. so that is a kind of thing so thanks for the last uh, you know. Ex so, excellent uh, excellent kumar garu and <laughs> yes. i have added one more point also <laughs> we yeah. added our vendors in the higher extra platform so oh. vendor management yeah. is taken care of for me oh, oh. Doesn't yeah, matter. it's yes, it's yes, no easy. We understand. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. it's no yeah, easy yeah. for me. See, which vendor is performing better than to the other two? Yeah. Yeah. And more, moreover, yeah. candidate self-signing ROR and GDPR removes okay. responsibility from my head. Mm, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good that's to good. know. Good. Uh, good. I, I, I and finally, how GDPR is important. important. Yeah. That's good. ROR and GDPR both. Yeah, it is uh, also yes. brought to our attention that, okay, so uh, in India, uh, particularly the India, uh, you know, many of the talent acquisition, uh, you know, big heads, they used to tell that how big is your recruitment, how tough and how got quality, uh, you know, the, you do a, a lot of quality recruitment, uh, you know, quality candidate sourcing, et cetera, et cetera. But yes. if you bring a candidate to the interview room, it's a possible that you know, they will be in the front gate, they will be appearing it, they will be running away from the back gate. So yeah. they're not they're not appearing in the interview room. Okay. So uh, it is a very struggle. Okay. It is happens to us as well. Uh, one of our client, uh, you know, PayPal. So we lined up uh, more than 168 candidates, and uh, we good. got only 40 candidates appearing uh, 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 for the interview. And finally, there are only four or five people. Okay, so that is uh, completely, you know, it's a yeah. uh, 
pathetic situation uh, irrespective of uh, these things so, so we want to eradicate this kind of things so we want to make applicant also the part of the system that is why we put gdpr a right of representation so these things will be part of gdpr they will be signing it so they will be uh, they will be they understood who is the client they are uh, basically signing off uh, the applicant process so okay. applicant is completely aware of it that is the only one point uh, our uh, uh, platform will be uh, calling uh, to the applicant but we also uh, still we are in the back screens we will be representing uh, the uh, applicant on behalf of uh, act uh, our client our vendor so uh, yeah. still the uh, we are uh, intellectual properties of uh, agency recruiter sir project that's good that's yeah. good okay yeah. Fi finally I uh, i'm adding one more point the irestra is handling overall end to end process of my hiring for me my yeah. life is easier now and yeah. i can concentrate on what my role as and getting new clients that's wonderful okay. that's, that's wonderful good. Yeah. that's Thank wonderful i think i think kumar rightly said by you uh, i just wanted to add one point over here rightly said by you uh, these are all the sagas of the recruitment industry they've been facing for a long time now and i think hire extra has put in all their efforts to make it a more transparent platform and make it a more scalable platform uh so that you know all these complaints that the recruitment industries had uh those are been eradicated like you said that's yeah. that's that's a great effort by hire extra and that's why i'm going to move on to our um, next question you know uh, i'm 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 sure um, rajeshekar um, wants to put a little light on um, you know uh, like basically as an employer as an employer how how do you feel that uh, you know hire extra uh, is a successful association for you are you happy with hire extra and would you recommend hire extra to other yes. uh, employers that's what yeah, i yeah yeah yes yes i'm very happy to working with hire extra <laughs> finally that's, that's yeah. wonderful that's wonderful yeah, th thank that's, thanks that's for this support yeah thanks yeah. for this opportunity also you and kumar garu and rest of the i don't know her their name i'm very happy for today okay okay thank, thank you once again thank yeah, you so thank much rajeshkar so thank, uh, thank i'm going to move on to our next panelist uh, mr pranay uh, mr pranay has been a part of the recruitment industry for at least a decade now pranay right. i guess isn't right. it yeah. maybe more as well i am sure your company was also affected by this global pandemic uh, situation um, you are associated with hire extra for you know quite some time uh, so uh the engagement has been there for some time now and uh, you your team has been doing an excellent job i must say at hire extra how uh, how uh, has hire extra helped you to get more business even in this space yes of course this pandemic has affected almost all, all industries across the globe which has caused dramatic changes in business approach working models and thankfully we got associated with hire extra which helped our business in a stable way without any layoffs okay That's and with to... hire extra we were able to close multiple contract positions in a long term basis with a good margin of around 100 to 150 pounds a day also we closed permanent few permanent positions which are like a salary range of around 100k which i think it's a really good during these challenging times in okay. addition to this hire extra helped us to work on the requirements of tier 1 clients like a salesforce um, harman technologies ge salesforce yeah which we have done around half a million business in last two quarters wow finally coming to payment terms as you know in this industry the payment terms are most challenging generally the payment terms are like 60 to 90 days in in this hire extra they have a two options which are like a pay and collect and collect and pay model so we have selected the pay and collect option from which we got our payments within 15 days and that made our company financially stable that's how the hire extra helped us okay. in this pandemic situation excellent excellent you. Uh, pranay I, i mean i think i think we also had this comment from one of our viewers uh, who who mentioned that how much revenue revenue you had generated in the first quarter i think you've already addressed that one of those questions 
um, uh, yeah. So uh, that's that's good to know. I'm I'm glad to know, Pranay, that you always uh, you've been a great agency recruiter for us. Uh, one of the Thank great ones. We have lots of them, but you you've been doing a commendable job as an agency recruiter for us. And I'm glad that you figured out ways to you know um, uh, to uh, work with the platform and find ways that work good for you. You know, uh, right. so that you could do more business with the platform. Yeah. And yeah. and that's that's good to know. So my next question to you, uh, Pranay, would be in terms of you know how easy has it been for uh, you and your team members to use the Hirexo platform? You know, are there any particular tools that you are a fan of, particularly? Yeah, I feel uh, that Hirexo is a very user friendly platform where everything has been streamlined in a process of 360 degrees recruitment using the latest technologies like uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, machine learning, blockchain, big data, etc. Coming to the tool, there are many tools, but I want to discuss on few tools which I'm fan of it, like uh, which are like uh, AI search and private area. As recruitment industry has certain criteria which we need to follow, like uh, mostly the turnaround time and the CV quality is most important to secure a new business or to run the show. So as you know every company having their own database but the thing the, the important thing is how we are making use of the database the yeah. good thing with private area is like a, we have uh, used the private area to like to upload all our existing database current database and when the time comes like when we receive a requirement we upload our job description into higher extra that's how the higher extra helped us then the AI comes into picture there. When we upload the job description, then mm -hmm. it digs into our existing database and that, that pulls out all the relevant CVs. I have used, uh, I have seen and used multiple uh, platforms and ATS systems like a Broadbean or Airtable, et cetera. Okay. They are searching CVs with the help of keywords. Yeah. But we talk about higher extra AI search. So not only the keyword match, they are doing deep analysis like uh, location match, rate match, industry match, okay, technology, title match, etc. Yeah. So there they have introduced a, another option called candidate compass. That's how when I upload my JD, I can see all of my candidates where they are standing with that requirement, especially. So rather than going with all the uh, CVs, like I can say when I upload my CV, I can see 40, 50 CVs. So I don't want to spend all of my time on 40, 50 CVs. With the help of Candid Compass, I can see the top 10 CVs. There, yeah. I'm saving my time. Okay, then I'm I'm spending my time on top 10 CVs, speaking to candidates, and I'm submitting a CV within the turnaround time and the quality CVs. With this help, like I'm re I'm reducing a rejection rate and submitting a quality CVs. You know, the clients are not accepting like earlier. They're not accepting multiple CVs. They're accepting True. only. Yes, quantity. Minimum three CVs within the turnaround time. It's always the, like a first come first serve basis. If you yeah. submit CV after forty eight hours or like a, a two days, three days, then yeah. less chance of getting a closure. Yeah. Absolutely. CV with the turnaround time, there are high chance of getting a closures. Wonderful. So Wonderful. AI and uh, private area help me a lot. So I can talk. I can say many tools, but I'm very fan of these two tools. IREXTRA's performance and optimization is amazing. They have used the like, latest technologies and the architecture is amazing. It's very user friendly. Wonderful. Thank you, Pranay. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing your insights on this. And yes, I would uh, I would agree that uh, IREXTRA does do a very deep analysis of the CVs and uh, uh, deep matching um, of the CVs. Um, right. Uh, like quality. you said, you think keyword. Yeah, it's it's more quality CVs that you get. You know, you don't right. you don't have to uh, uh, handle a large volume of CVs, uh, whereas you handle only those cream layer out of all yeah. those CVs. So, which is a very good thing. I think um, Kumar sir would agree. He is the mastermind behind all this. Um, yeah, you know, I do. Ajay, I, you know. I, I want to put one point, uh, yeah. particularly in this COVID time. Uh, yeah. What is yeah. happening? What uh, what comes to our observation is that uh, so how good are the agency recruiters are there? So whether they are using IREXTRA or they are using their own ATS tools are there. Okay, yeah. but employers 
are become a more picky in uh, recently, uh, particularly IT side. Um, you know, so what they do is they are previously they used to do uh, minimize the, the interview time is <laughs> maybe around 15, 20, yeah. Uh, yeah. What yeah. Is. But uh, uh, I, I think uh, I, uh, I uh, my other colleagues they, they do agree that okay, right now the interview times are going beyond one hour and they're going very deep uh, uh, mining of the theme. So even yeah. you know, in the levels of reaching to the hiring manager, for example. Yeah getting a success at a talent acquisition team or you know passing the cv to next level and the next yeah. level passing to the next level and but finally when the hiring manager is coming to the uh, the uh, final decision so yeah. there is a lot of rejections are happening at this particular level uh, yeah. that is really really uh, making very yeah. tough decisions so uh, if we avoid uh, you know in first level, if we able to provide the best and the best quality CV at uh, you know the first level, there's a chances that you'll do a complete closer and you do a billable uh, agency. So the more billable uh, for two agency recruiters. So, so we do we did mention to uh, Tom Gandhi Consulting the same thing. So recently, uh, the Salesforce we given exclusive um, recruiter uh, of our Salesforce to the uh, Tom Gandhi Consulting. They are working on those requirements recently you be close to a few uh, positions uh, through <coughs> this consulting company but however we are vendor neutral uh, so we got a 6000 agency recruiters who are signed up with irx so this yeah. 6000 agency recruiters so we we allow to uh, provide uh, depend on the industry uh, depend on the industry sector so each agency recruiter we will interview them we will see their strength their weakness and we see the what are the few roles we what they done in uh, previously so and uh, we got those kps there our intelligent ai vendor uh, search algorithm automatically finds it and it will suggest and also we have a uh, uh, psl okay so like tom gandhi is one of the psl uh, to the client salesforce so it is the same thing so we will we will assign uh, the agency recruiter to become a psl to the client also so uh, that means that we are giving a business for a lifetime okay a lifetime yeah. You will be uh, providing a business to the agency. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for okay. the opportunity, Mr. Thank Kumar. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you Kumar. And, thank you. Uh, I'm really yes. thank you, Kumar. Yes. Um, Rajeshekar, we are all Rajeshekar and Pranay. We are also very glad to be associated with you as an employer and a uh, agency recruiter. So wonderful. Um, uh, and uh, thank you, everyone. And now we will take some questions from our viewers. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, we will be sharing the link of our website and uh, in the comment section and for any um, basically for any employers or um, any existing or aspiring recruiters who are attending our session today or who will be viewing our video later on because this video will be there on our Facebook uh, page uh, for yeah. you to have a look at it anytime and um, you know uh, so we'll put all the useful links um, in the comment section below just for your easy access and may i request monica to shoot some questions from the viewers so we can address sure yeah actually there are a few questions so one question it's already addressed by pranay regarding revenue yes so yes. that was informative and the other yeah. question is from silish so okay. he's asking like how many roles are filled per month and uh, he just wants to know is it only for it or any other roles as well that's an interesting question uh, i think that's again for pranay i guess yeah right right yeah i yeah, can say pranay that i have fulfilled yes i have fulfilled almost all i can say uh, i can 20 to 25 positions in a month altogether including permanent contract and if i want to if you want to know about only it roles or non it roles like we are it specialized company and uh, we are supporting on it requirements and i can see there are multiple non it roles as well and we are expanding ourselves to cover non it requirements as well but at the moment i am only working with it technology yeah, we wanted you cool. to come on board with our other <laughs> roles as well but i'm sure yeah, you'll yeah. be ready in some time <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, is not uh, uh, is a cross vertical and uh, you know cross horizontal. So we have a we are working with uh, industries. Okay, we are working with uh, you know uh, companies who is uh, you know providing um, FMCG, uh, even Sorry. retail assistant. We need to provide a retail assistant, even security guards. 
so we we are into the every uh, every facet of the business uh, okay. and our uh, team is uh, working on that and we have a specialized sourcing team uh, who are training the agency recruiters okay? okay we generally don't do sourcing on our own uh, unless there is a special niche and super niche roles okay uh, but most of the uh, things we are depend on agency recruiters to uh, right. deliver those roles so when agency recruiters are you know uh, are uh, lack of the skills or they are looking at uh, motivation so we are mentoring them we are providing them all the training they required we are providing them all the knowledge they required for example we we developed indigenously as i mentioned to you in earlier discussion wherein we mentioned to you your own the 30 patents we are working on the few patents are the sourcing uh, thing so in this case for example i would like to let you know that we are the only company in the world got access to 1.3 billion people data. okay wherein uh, some of the companies are only getting 500 to 600 things so our agency recruiter uh, got a separate link separate uh, you know link where they can access 1.3 billion people data so yes, of course uh, it's not all free Okay, there is something is a uh, you know charge based. Okay, but so they don't need to pay anything upfront. So we yeah. will be giving them access. Uh, we may be charging them uh, for some of the people data, but we will be uh, collecting it uh, or directing from the fees. Okay, what we are going to pay back to agency recruiter. So they don't yeah. not need to spend anything from upfront from the pocket. So, uh, but they will be get access to one point three. Uh, you know, billions of people data. That means because we using uh, with web scrapping technology, so we got a. Uh, we are working with uh, many partners. Uh, so these the partners are providing the feeders to us, and then uh, yeah. you know we are doing it. And also we like to launch a job aggregator very soon, and also we like to launch a talent aggregator very soon. Okay. Yes. So uh, recently we are. Uh, a uh, few venture capital companies are uh, uh, interested they are uh, low to fund us so uh, and once that is a realization then we are going to launch the talent aggregator and uh, also we are going to launch the job aggregator very soon yeah That's a it. lot of uh, projects in the pipeline uh, for higher extra very soon yeah isn't yes. it Thank yeah Thank so uh, monica can we have the next question please quickly because we are running out of time yeah there's one more question here like uh, it's from karan so he just wants to know how is gdpr taken care of so uh, uh, i think gdpr is basically taken care of through internally through the system um, uh, all our candidates uh, who are uploaded in the system through the agency recruiters they receive an email from higher extra uh, where they have to do a physical sign of the document, um, uh, which is done online. So they don't have to actually print it out. Mm -hmm. It's an online signature and it gets submitted to the platform. Thank you, Karan, for asking that question. Yeah. And also uh, the GDPR. And there's one uh, more question know. from Karan. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. is the question? The GDPR, yes, uh, continue. Uh, yeah, Aditi, yeah. the GDPR is a, a process, okay, wherein uh, the candidate need to be get, uh, you know, uh, it's not like a tick box uh, anymore, okay. So uh, it's yes. a very serious uh, data protection law, okay. So yes, they, it need is. To, it is. they need Certainly. to certify, they need to say the, um, the language, how long we can uh, keep the CV in our uh, system because our databases right. are accessing those details. So we need to. Uh, we need to get uh, authorization that whether they are happy to uh, keep uh, the CV for three months, six oh, months, yes, or three yes. of the applicant, or one year, two years, you know, our lifetime. Depending so on their cannot, choice, right? They cannot. They cannot simply put it, uh, you know, tick boxing, you know, so right. two terms are kind of a you know check box kind of stuff. But they need to sign it, and we also yeah. taking the IP address and we protecting that thing, and we are storing it in the system. So we are completely 100% is the GDPR compliant. Uh, yes, in this we are. Yes, yeah. yes. Certainly. And also so we, it is yeah. reduces uh, the interview thing because uh, we, in particular, where GDPR is not there, but uh, for example, in India, we call this uh, concept as a right of representation. Uh, yes. So there also the candidate is uh, storing it. Okay. So we want to add it. Uh, you know, so the video also feature. Okay. So so that we know that candidate 
is signing up uh, exactly you know so we know you know is is the person who is signing up and who is certifying that okay so then uh, we can reduce the uh, no show interviews which yes. uh, the shaker explained yes. in earlier yes. Yeah, yeah. So that is that is the main I issue with uh, yeah. interviews uh, that yeah. people have been facing, and we've we've catered to a lot of um, eradicated a lot of issues in the recruitment process, basically. Yes, Ajay. Yes, Ajay. Yeah. yeah, and we and uh, for all our viewers, we do take uh, all our GDPR compliance and ROR compliance very very seriously, and we've we've uh, done a extensive um, you know uh, job in terms of catering to all these needs for various countries so uh, location is not a barrier for us um, industry is not a barrier for us and um, whatever local laws um, are uh, there in every in the employment industry or in the recruitment industry in every country we customize our platform as for that particular location yeah. you know, True. basically uh, any other questions that need to be answered yeah. to uh, monica Yes, we do have a question. So Karan wants to know, like, uh, can we schedule interviews through Hirexpra? I think um, yeah. uh, yes, you can schedule interviews through Hirexpra, um, uh, and uh, you can uh, you also have a calendar which can be associated with your own uh, calendar that you're using, whether it be Google Calendar or a Calendly or anything. Um, so that you get a notification before the schedule interview uh, appears, and you can see in that event calendar all the interviews that are scheduled in that particular day, and you can schedule either a Skype interview or a face-to-face -face interview or a direct interview, any kind of interviews you can schedule through IREX. So yes, it's it's a very easy peasy yeah. process, and um, that's uh, we we uh, uh, we are proud to be a very user friendly friendly platform basically. Yes. Yeah, thank right. you, Karan, for asking the question. Yeah, I think we have a thank you from Karan as well. Um, all right, uh, yeah. wonderful. Uh, we had a very lovely session, and we had some questions also coming in from the viewers. That's a great thing. So wonderful. Thank you to all our viewers for attending our session today, and thank, thank you, you to Ajay. all our panel members thank for you. being here with us. And uh, we do intend to do more such sessions. As I mentioned earlier, for all our viewers, we are going to uh, share some important URLs and important links for them to have a look at um, in the comment section uh, for all our viewers. And um, obviously, this video will be there on our Facebook page. So you can, even if you miss the session or you've not been able to attend the session for some reason, for, for a location or time reasons, uh, because we have our followers across the world, from USA, from UK, from India, all parts of from Asia, all parts of the world. So please do watch our live session uh, later on when you have a moment. And if you have any questions, uh, our extra team is always here to solve those questions of yours. Uh, if you have any queries, you can uh, email us at support at hirextra.com and we will, um, we will see to get back to you as early as possible. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. 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 Thank you.